Hello guys from the Music Interview Corner, day two at Tuska, and now with the band Vola. I have Adam here. Hi Adam. Hello. Hey. How does it feel for you to play at Tuska today? Feels very, very, very good. We uh, we headlined in uh, in Helsinki a few months ago, and uh, so happy to be here at this awesome festival. That's cool. Cool, and I heard already, like when I was setting up the camera and when we prepared for the interview, you told me you had some adventures today. Do you want to share that? Yeah. So basically, I flew from Sweden with some drum gear, and everything turned out fine. But the rest of the band flew from Denmark, and uh, they flew with their guitars, bass, keyboard, everything that we need for the show, basically. And it got lost. It's still lost somewhere in uh, airport land. Uh, so we had to like call around to rent gear. We made a Facebook post and so on. So we figured it out now. Good. So now we have um, uh, two of the guys are setting up and preparing the gear so we can make the show happen but yeah it was definitely quite stressful for a for a moment <laughs> i'm so sorry but glad you figured it out it happened to another band yesterday they lost all their gear or the airline did you fly with klm by any chance they always lose everything no no not not klm uh finnair actually oh my god yeah. finnair shame on you <laughs> it was my favorite airline now i have to consider <laughs> And just a direct flight from, from Copenhagen to here. So, like, no, no weird uh, transfers or anything. So yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> that's really special, Finnair, to lose luggage and yeah. gear in a direct flight. But, yeah, I'm so glad you figured it out. Yeah. Your third studio album, Witness, was released in the middle of the lockdown. And then you decided to do a live stream concert from a pool, like the swimming pool of an abandoned military base. Who had the idea for that? Um, I think our bass player, Nikolai discovered it somehow I don't know if what if it was some advice from someone but it's it's a pretty special place in Denmark because yeah like you said it's a it's an abandoned military base and there they have this pool which is like overgrown and uh, like the whole place it, it feels very post-apocalyptic because it's you know broken windows and uh, like gym lockers uh, gymnastics hall and things like that and um, They've used that place for other shows. Mirkur has has done a live stream show there. I know they for like Danish Netflix series called Dark or something like that. They also filmed in that place. So we just felt like okay, let's let's actually make a a live stream show there. <laughs> And then you did not only do the live stream, you also turned it into a live DVD. Who had the idea to make this live from the pool DVD? That was actually a plan from the start because it's it wasn't technically a live stream. It was a recorded performance that we streamed at a point because ah. um, there was like no um, no uh, internet there in the in the venue, and it was just so much easier to record it than stream as an event that people can watch, and then it's easier to like properly produce it so people can really enjoy it with with the lights and good sound and so on. And then we let people digest it a bit. They, If they missed the opportunity to see it, then they missed it for a few months until the DVD came out. So it was a bit of a, a way to tease them a bit. <laughs> very, yeah, very clever. Your first single from the album Witness is called Head Mounted Sideways. And you have some really cool and kind of dark like topics in the music video. Can you tell me more about that? So that song, lyrically, it's basically about a world in, in disarray, like a war-torn world, kind of. So the lyrics really paint that kind of, um, yeah, that dark world in, in different ways. Um, and the, the music video is actually made by uh, some guys from Finland, Rivata. Um, and they, uh, yeah, they basically interpreted the song and put their artistic view on it. Um, where the, yeah, the video kind of tells a story of two two people who are disconnected from each other and controlled, uh, and then they manage to kind of overload the the system and. 
and uh, enter together into this artistic expression. I love that. I love the ending and I feel this is a lot like our world is today, like people are so disconnected from each other. Yeah, like that's that's kind of the the feeling that a lot of people have, like you're stuck in this mold where you're just you you have these things that you have to do and you cannot break break through, but there is this this need to just yeah, I don't know, break through those walls somehow. And uh, yeah, that can be said for of course personal things, but also just the the tension and the state of the world today with uh, yeah with all the ongoing politics and all that yeah. stuff yeah I also really like your music video for the song straight lines okay. and it has something from Narnia and from interdimensional yeah. travel do you believe that there are multiple dimensions do you believe in the multiverse um, I have no idea actually I have no idea I'm uh, I'm um, as long as something is scientific then I'm, I'm happy to to um, pursue it further um, but also a big part of the scientific approach is to say I don't know when when you don't know and I, I basically have no idea and I, I haven't read enough about it to have a solid opinion but if if uh, if the the sci-fi kid in me has an opinion then it's uh, that it would definitely be cool if that's the case <laughs> I hope it's the case. I actually believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe there's another dimension where Finn Air didn't lose your gear. Yes. And you have it here and we're sitting yeah. here with Nikolai and all of that. By the way, despite losing all the instruments today, and what's the craziest thing that you ever did on tour with the guys? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, we're, we're really not so, so crazy on tour. Two of the guys are dads and, uh, you know, like what happens backstage is... We have a, like two beers to relax and then we go to bed so we're, we're really not adventurous but there's some things that have uh, happened along the way like the computer overheating on stage in Germany because it was in the Sun and we had to solve that or playing a, a show which was broadcasted on TV where the camera guy accidentally unplugged my in-ears so I couldn't hear anything and just random stuff like that basically yeah but it sounds good so you're only wired on stage yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is there anything you want to say to your fans uh, especially considering today when we asked for help with the with the gear big 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 thank you to everyone who supports us and who's here to help us who's here to enjoy our music watch our shows who's here at uh, Tusca. Yeah, just from, uh, from the bottom of my heart, big thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for the interview, Adam. And thank goodbye you. from the Music Interview Corner. Bye.